Hi Aries, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Wendy Irene, and this is a reading for if you have Aries in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node. Um, or if there's an Aries in your life that you're hoping to gain a get greater understanding of what may be going on with them energetically. These readings are meant to be timeless, meaning that I trust in the divine timing that when you come across them is when you're meant to. And I just ask that you do your best to open your heart space and really be willing to listen to your own intuition over everything else because that is your greatest guidance teacher. And in fact, what I love tarot the most for is to take a few moments to hear your inner voice, to hear your soul, your heart. Um, sometimes you see cards that are the opposite of what you're feeling, but it makes it clear to you. Okay, Aries, so something very interesting happened. I started this reading and I pulled a card and it had to do with passed away loved ones. Um, and then the video stopped and paused and it was acting really weirdly. So I feel very much like some of you have a parental figure or a parent who's passed away who really wants you to know that they are around you and that they love you. I feel like that's one of the things in my personal opinion that I can do is they can interfere with electronics sometimes to really just kind of try and give you a sign that they're there or like you hear a song. Um, this takes deep faith and this understanding that um, when you die, it's not the end of you. It's not the end of your energy. And so this energy is around you so strongly and I just feel like it, it, it was so loud, like the video pause. I've never had that happen in a reading. Um, it, it froze my picture and then it paused and it, and it really messed with the video. So that's why I'm re-recording. But the card that had come out is love from your parents. This is the first card that I pulled. I started with the magical unicorns deck. And this is as far as we've gotten. This is first card. So this is, this is your parents sign up. They love you. Your mother and father love you. And for some of you, it's as much as they can. Say they're living in the present and it wasn't, you didn't get the love that you felt like you wanted, but like you understand that they are loving you to the capacity that they can. And that's why forgiveness is so beautiful and important is because you understand that they are, they deep down love you, their soul. It's a soul contract, this parental contract they are loving you from as much as they have the ability to do based on their vibration and their circumstances and all of that. So, okay, let's read what it says in the book. This card is telling you that your mother and father both love you, even though you may not always be able to feel their love. Everyone shows love in different ways. For example, some people show that they care through actions such as giving you things or trying to help you other people express it through words that they say or write. If your mother and father show their love in ways you don't understand, you can talk to them about your feelings. The bond between parents and children can never be broken no matter what. Even during times of anger, parents and children still love each other deep down. If you focus on this love, it grows even stronger and deeper. This love also helps everyone feel better and get along better. If your mother and father are angry with each other you can still love them both equally you don't need to take sides everyone has something good inside of them after all god put love within every person your love toward both your mother and father is always deep and strong even if you don't see one of your parents very much focus on what's good about your mother and father to help them and you be as loving as you can be so this is the enlightenment really being able to see the divine within someone you know, we're all a combination of light and dark. We come into this plane knowing that we're coming into the darkness, loving the divine, seeing the divine. That is the most enlightening thing that we can really do is to see the divine in other people, not connect to the drama, but to that true unconditional love deep down. So yes, Aries, someone is around you wanting you to know their presence is with you. And that's what I love. The one positive thing, um, well, maybe and there's probably many, but one of the positive things that I physically understand um, is in when someone is alive and on this earth, to feel close to them, a lot of times you have to be physically near them. But when they're passed away, you can be with them at any time. Their energy can be with you anywhere and everywhere and any time. And that is a huge gift. Um, they can feel when you're thinking of them. Give yourself some quiet moments if there's someone that you really love that's passed away that you want to connect with, maybe especially if it's someone that was like a parental figure in your life, and allow yourself to feel that. It takes deep faith. 
Okay, I think there's a cat moving behind me here. I saw a shadow. Okay, so Aries, let's pull from the tarot deck and see what wants to come out from you for you. Two more shuffles. Okay, we have the Leap of Faith card. We have the Four of Pentacles or the Four of Ariel. We have the World card. We have the Seven of Swords at the Heart of Reading or Seven of Michael, the Chariot. So three major arcana already, Four of Cups and the Strength card. And I feel like the Star card, which came out yesterday, so if you have Pisces in your chart, wants to be attached to the Strength card. I feel like they wanted to come out together. Let's start with the Leap of Faith card. This is you you know, doing exactly that. Believing in yourself, having confidence in yourself so much so that you're willing to take this leap of faith. You're willing to take this jump into doing what gives you joy. Even though you may not see the, all of the steps or the whole path, you're like, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna listen to my intuition. I'm not even gonna question it really. I'm just gonna take this leap. Um, I know that I have within me to handle whatever I need to. So this is you listening to your heart. This is you deciding to do what gives you joy here. I mean, you don't take the leap of faith. If deep down, you don't have this feeling like somehow it leads to greater joy for you. The four of pentacles is this energy of reminding us like the, the balance of giving and receiving. So when you give, you also receive. And you really wanna do that um, in balance. So. You know, a lot of times people have an easier time giving than they do receiving, but allow the good to come in. Allow people to do nice things for you. It makes them feel good. It's a gift for them as well. Uh, it's also a card that says, hey, Aries, don't be resistant to, don't be resistant to change here. Like take this leap of faith, allow change to happen. Um, it can also be a card that says to be aware of extremes. So are you saving in an extreme way or are you spending in an extreme way? How can you pull that back into balance and be in kind of this equilibrium place in this relaxed state where it feels really good? Um, and that balance of giving, receiving, knowing that you don't want to be in the extremes right now. You want to bring yourself back to center. The world card is a really happy ending to something. It makes sense for the world card to be here because something comes to a closure as you take the sleep of faith that requires your confidence, your deep faith, um, your ability to listen to your intuition in your heart. So something comes full circle, but I feel like the reason that you become in this place where you're ready for a leap of faith is because of the spiritual growth that you've done. This, you, you're ready to receive insights. You're ready to listen to these insights. You're ready to follow that inner voice of yours, which takes a lot of confidence and a lot of belief in yourself. At the heart of the reading, the Seven of Swords means that whatever path you're on, it's like you know in your heart, in your intuition, that there's a better way or there's a better course of action available to you. Um, you may be working with others or it may be that you're really reviewing things. You're reviewing the details to really make decisions. But at the end of the day, what makes you feel a little bit lighter? What lifts you up? What makes you feel a little more joyful? Um, that's where you're being led to. And you're letting the universe guide you here. The chariot, no reins because God, the universe, your higher self, your soul, however you want to look at it, it's the one doing the guiding through your intuition, through your heart space. So this is you being determined. This is you having a lot of self-control. And like I was saying before, a lot of belief in yourself. For some of you, this can mean a career advancement if it has to do with work, but it's like you're you're marching forward in life and you're allowing the universe to do the guiding, waking up, saying those prayers, God, please guide me today. Please bring the greatest good in for me. Please help me to be joyful. Please help me to be in balance. Um, also, you a chariot comes out when you are being acknowledged. People are seeing you shine brightly. Like So think of the chariot uh and everyone's watching like so this is your energy being acknowledged Aries you're a beautiful fiery bright sign um and the, your light is shining really brightly and people are noticing it here the four of cups is 
you know how we were saying that there could be a better course of action or a better path? This is really you seeking out other possibilities or other options. It's like you want to look for the magic in life. Whatever path you were on didn't feel magical like the way you want it to be. But it's also a card that says, understand and be aware of your emotions, okay? What is it? When is it your emotions tagging at you? And when is it your intuition and heart? What makes you feel good? Listen to that in your body. You have the strength card here, meaning that you have the strength to do this. So if this is a big leap of faith, like, hey, you're making a big move, or you're changing careers, or you're making a big change in the relationships in your life, um, this card is here to remind you that you are strong. You are the lion and the lamb. So you have that, that fierce energy to you, but also that kindness to you. You also have the energy of forgiveness. And this may really have to do with anyone that is like a parental figure in your life. You forgive that, it allows you to be the highest version of yourself too. That forgiveness softens you and it helps you be the most loving version you can of yourself. And when the star card comes out, it says that a dream of yours is coming true. Expect your dreams to come true. Expect it to be a beautiful surprise, which dream of yours is coming true. And also believe in yourself. Something that was difficult for you has ended with the world card and the star card. It's There's an ending to this. Um, but it ends in a happy way, ends in a very positive way. So take time. This is what I said to Pisces too. Close your eyes and make a wish because these wishes are coming true. So allow yourself that moment to close your eyes and make a wish. Thank you so much for joining me, Aries. Thank you for all you do to support me and this channel, the likes, the shares, subscribing. Um, passing the message on to others, leaving me comments. It means so much. I am sending you my love. Have a beautiful month and I will see you again soon.